Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlene for those of you who are new and to my loyal subscribers, thank you as always for coming back. Yeah, so this is my second video for the day and I'm filming a very exciting video. This one is going to be my top 10 current favorite perfumes like, i have a lot of perfumes in my collection but currently these are the ones i would say are my top 10. well i have others that i'm very very loyal to as well but if i had to do a top 10 i would go for these 10. so i would not say that this is my top 10 for life because I change my mind all the time. But these are not my top 10 for life. These are just my top 10 currently. My collection might change, my taste might change. And so my favorite perfumes might change eventually. As of June, 2021, these are my top 10 favorite perfumes in my collection. If you guys are not new to my channel, this one will not be a surprise to you. And if you are new, welcome to the world where I'm obsessed with princess. This is I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess by Killian. And it is one of my absolute favorite perfumes because I literally, literally cannot get enough of this. When I smell this, it just makes me feel really, really good. Really sexy and sweet, a little bit daring. I just want more and more and more of this. I'm already wearing a scent of the day. My scent of the day is Intense Cafe or Intense Cafe by Montau. I'm not gonna mess it up and put on Princess, but really I should have made this my scent of the day. This is described as gourmand with a kick. This is a blend of green tea matcha, marshmallow, and it also has ginger. That is why it is described as such. To me, it's flirty, it's fun, it is sexy to me. I love when I wear this. Like if even if I would not get a single compliment, I would still enjoy the experience with princess i have a dedicated video on kissing and princess so i will put a card up here so you guys can check it out if you want to i like the packaging to me it's unique it's different so this is my warm sweet sexy gourmand which i love and of course that's why it had to be in my top 10. the next fragrance that made my top 10 list is angel muse this one comes from the house of moogler I fell in love with this fragrance immediately when I added it to my collection. This is a woody gourmand. That's how I always describe it. Because of that hazelnut spread in the base of it, it makes it very warm and sweet, but it also has a lot of depth and character with the patchouli. It is sharp. It comes, it comes in hot, <laughs> coming in hot. Like you either love this or you don't. And I'm definitely on the love side of Angel Muse. I love this. I cannot imagine not having it in my collection. I don't know what I did before I had it in my collection. When I turn it upside down, you can see I've put a little dent in it, but when I turn it this way, it doesn't seem like I did. And there it is when I just crave for this scent, y'all. This has very, very patchouli. Like I said, it comes in hot, like you cannot miss it. And if you like it, you're gonna like it. And if you don't, you don't like it. But it, it, it does have a little edge to it, which makes it sexy to me as well. I love this. I cannot imagine it not being part of my collection. And so the next fragrance to make it to my top 10 is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. This is classified as a warm and spicy fragrance. It is a floral bouquet, a sweet, a very, very sweet floral bouquet. The keynotes on this one are jasmine, orange blossom, and patchouli, and just a beautiful, very, very popular fragrance. A cult classic, like I always say. This was a repurchase because I had it in my collection previously. Love it. And of course, it has some of my favorite notes. You guys know how obsessed I am with patchouli. It doesn't disappoint in this one. It's not at the forefront. For me, this lasts relatively long. I do not need to reapply when I wear it. When it comes to fragrance names, this is probably one of the most fitting names because it this is what it is. However, I have to say that it is pretty sweet, at least to me. People tend to focus more on the floral side of it and I feel like it's very, very sweet. So the floral notes, the vanilla, the patchouli, it is most definitely an amazing fragrance, super feminine. Did I mention super feminine? And I had to add her to the collection and I love the packaging. I mean, anyway, flower bomb. The next fragrance we have comes from the house of Valentino. This is Donna Born in Roma. When I got this fragrance, I did not expect to love it as much as I do. This is inspired by the Roman street style, makes me feel very luxe 
when I wear this. This is a warm floral fragrance with black currant, which I really enjoy. Vanilla bourbon. I believe we have pink pepper in this one as well as jasmine. This is so gorgeous, super feminine, a little bit of sexy, a little bit of depth. Like it is good. It's also spicy and bright as well when you just spray it. So Donna Born in Roma is truly amazing. It's also sweet, but not not as sweet as flower bomb is i would say so this is a truly feminine fragrance a one i feel like every woman would enjoy it this lasts relatively long on me personally and i don't have to reapply i i tend to just not reapply fragrances period unless it has a disappearing act like um <laughs> like that estee lauder fragrance that i tried a while ago the, the beautiful magnolia oh my god i've never seen a fragrance that disappears so magically like that fragrance mm -mm. don't recommend it by the way but i digress you should try it out if you haven't and if you have tried it out let me know what you think in the comment section down below the next fragrance in my top 10 comes from Guerlain. this is more Guerlain, and this is the original eau de parfum like i heard all the hype about it and i was like meh i wasn't super interested in trying this out to be honest but one day i finally got to sniff it and I am in love with this fragrance. This to me is ultra feminine. I would have never guessed how much I would love and appreciate lavender in a scent, but this is so beautiful, so, so gorgeous. To me, this is sophistication in a bottle, so sophisticated, and I'm not talking about like business sophistication. I'm talking about like feminine, womanly sophistication. This is just, a put together woman the main notes are jasmine lavender and vanilla and yes y'all the perfect perfect blend of these notes to make this super like most of the fragrances i am talking about are super ultra feminine but this one is so good i get so many compliments when i wear this now the compliment part of it i wasn't expecting recently i wore this to work and I got so many compliments like, what are you wearing? Oh, you smell good. Oh, I like this on you. I was like, I like it on me too. <laughs> it is so good. I recommend that you give it a sniff. It is my only fragrance from the house of Guerlain and I just love it so much. So this is more Guerlain by Guerlain. So the next one I'm going to talk about is probably one of the sexiest fragrances in my collection. Like I say, Kissing is sexy and I say that Angel Muse is sexy. Hypnotic Poison. Hypnotic Poison is, is a whole vibe, y'all. That combination of scents make you sniff it and you cannot stop sniffing. Hypnotic Poison is in fact very hypnotic. This fragrance to me makes me feel like I can get anything I want <laughs> with my guy. Like, I feel like if he smells this on me, he he would grant all my wishes. Hypnotic Poison settles on me in the most beautiful way. I actually have the EDT and I, I get confused by that just because of the performance of this fragrance. I mean, if I had to choose a top five, Hypnotic Poison would have to be in that top five. Definitely would have to be in the top five, like no doubt, because I love it that much. This one has bitter almond and I can I can definitely get that just from almost the opening. Um, It has jasmine some back, it has vanilla. It is definitely an intoxicating scent and I will wear this. I think this is more appropriate on a date night, like a very, very um intimate moment. Like it grew on me too. Like I liked it when I first sprayed it, but then I've really fallen in love with this fragrance. Oh, oh, y'all, this is so good. So good. Mwah, love it. The next one on my list is definitely a must just because you need that elegant, sophisticated, almost classic scent in your collection. You have to have it. This one might possibly outlast almost every single fragrance I've talked about so far. Almost. Because it lasts forever and a day. This is Coco Mademoiselle, Coco Mad, which I enjoy so much. It is patchouli heavy like no other. The patchouli is what comes forth for me the most. This is long lasting like y'all. 
if you do not want this to stay forever in a day don't put it on your clothing just keep it on your skin i have tried some of the other flankers by chanel of the coco mademoiselle the coco mademoiselle eau privé whatever they just came out with there's an eau de toilette that they came out with and i still prefer coco mademoiselle original so this one is a warm floral with orange of course i told you guys earlier the patchouli so it's bright it's sharp but it still has so much depth to it it is long lasting and again like i said super super elegant like i would wear this for so many different occasions so in my opinion this is ultra elegant and a must-have in my collection this one I would repurchase over and over and over and over and over and over again, <laughs> basically. I cannot imagine not having Coco Mad in my collection. She's beautiful. This is mad sexy. <laughs> so the other one is like ultra sexy as well. So we have a theme going on here, very sexy vibes, very grown woman vibe. Um, this one is The Only One Intense by Dolce e Gabbana. This one, I originally had The Only One, the original warm sweet just cozy fragrance which i love and i enjoy and then i discovered this one because it's very talked about think of hot summer nights in the tropics and you have the only one intense at first i could not detect the coconut so much the more i use it the more i detect the coconut in this one this one has fruity notes in the top you have green apple orange in the heart of it you have jasmine coconut towards the end you have that vanilla that brings it all together you have cedar and cashmere so it does have a little bit of warmth but not too much but that those tropical notes and those um, floral notes kick in this one i definitely recommend getting a sniff of it oh my gosh y'all the perfect words to describe this is sensual and feminine like it doesn't get any better than that. I'll put this right next to my Hypnotic Poison, I'll be honest. Hypnotic Poison is like bay. This one is like side bay, you know? The two last ones I got are from the House of Lancome. No surprise, like I hope y'all didn't think that I was gonna end this top 10 without talking about Lancome, cause there's just no way. The first one from Lancome is La Nuit Tresor à la Folie. I mean. Mm, mm. this is so good now it might not be everybody's cup of tea if you don't like sweet if you don't like vanilla fragrances if you don't like fragrances with pink pepper if you don't like fragrances with vanilla bourbon you might not like this but if you like those notes and they're calling your name as I speak you might love this all the notes in there are like very like intense and have so much depth it's a beautiful, warm, creamy perfume, in my opinion, because that vanilla just like mixes everything, like the perfect melange, you know? So a la folie basically translates to someone having complete abandon, just letting go and just basically letting all the feelings come in. And yeah, yeah, I love that. So good. So good. And of course, you guys know, if you're familiar with Lancome's perfumes, they last forever and ever. And this one is no exception. It lasts pretty long, pretty, pretty long. So this is La Nuit Tresor à la Folie from the Tresor line. Possibly my favorite, but I do have the La Nuit Tresor and I love that one too. Because I love vanilla so much, I think that's what makes this one it gives this one a little more edge to me because it's more prominent. So I mentioned earlier that my two last fragrances were from Lancome. If you know me at all, you guys know what the last one is. This one is my heart. I don't think any other fragrance from Lancome lasts as long as this one. We're not talking about Maison Lancome because, because Oud Bouquet and all the sisters of Oud Bouquet definitely last a lifetime. I'm just talking about the regular line. This is the original La Vie Belle. It has been like the benchmark of Lancome perfumes and this one is just bay. I've always said that La Vie Belle is my signature scent. Um, although I'm slowly moving away from it a little bit just because I have so many, I'm exploring others, so I'm not as faithful as I once was. But I still love it so much and I cannot imagine not having it in my collection. Like, if my friends know me and you ask them what my favorite perfume is, they should. I'm hoping that they would say La Vie Belle. But like I said, I love so many others equally and possibly more so. This lasts 
forever y'all like i get lots of compliments although it's a very common scent it's very accessible as well so it's very common and some people don't like smelling like other people but i feel like the perfume is gonna be different on you anyway so if you like it rock it the way the perfume is gonna settle on me is they're gonna be very different from how it settles on the next person you know the main notes in this one are iris patchouli you have spun sugar which makes it a gourmand of sorts and you also have vanilla in the base so it's sweet it's definitely long lasting it is noticeable I feel like when it comes to longevity and projection, the original is definitely the winner. So La Vie Belle by Lancome is my 10th fragrance from my current top 10 and I love her so much and it's just gorgeous as well. Like the packaging is everything. So join the conversation below and let us know what your favorite perfumes are and why. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.